Yo right, guys, it's the Cornelia here. Welcome back to another video. And today's video is my official team of the year prediction. This is what I think is going to be the team of the year. Obviously, it's not going to have much chemistry as a team. Uh, but hopefully, we can get some good players in there. I will, exper I will explain sorry, my reasoning for each pick. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. We recently hit 60 subs. Thank you guys so, so much. Two as a video will be out very, very soon. I love you all. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Right then, starting off this team in goal. I actually do have them in the club. It is going to be my boy, Allison. Very decent card. Very good in game as well. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about real life. Liverpool obviously top of the table right now. You could argue David De Gea or Manuel Neuer or someone like that. They've both been very, very good. But I would say Allison will probably get it for the second year running. On to the right centre back. I think this one's been a bit tricky because Van Dijk has been injured. However, I have decided to give it to him. There are some more original picks here. Have I done this right? I have. There you go. There are some more original picks in this team. We'll just give him his highest rated card. Don't worry, it's not just all going to be Liverpool players and players from last year. There will be some more original players. However, right now, I think he is the best centre-back in the world. On to the left centre-back spot. I, I was tempted here. To go for maybe a Bayern player or someone else, maybe like Harry Maguire. I'm kidding. <laughs> I wasn't going to Harry Maguire, uh, but I think it is going to have to be Ramos, and um, simply for the reason because he he just is one of the best centre backs to ever live, uh, to ever play the game, and, and and that is that that is facts, complete and utter facts. On to the left back spot then. Now this guy has had a meteoric rise to success. He goes by the name of Alfonso Davies, and he is an absolute god. I love him. I saw him against Chelsea. He ripped them apart. One of my favourite memories this year is him ripping Chelsea to shreds. Uh, what a player this guy is. Absolutely insane in FIFA as well, obviously, 98 pace. I really don't see... A lot of people will say, oh, Robertson, or oh, Trent, or whatever. You know, maybe Trent can play left-back. No. Davies is the best left-back in the world right now. And he is absolutely fantastic on the ball. Got lots of skills. Robertson, don't get me wrong, is an absolutely world-class right back. A left back, sorry. However, Davies just pips into it on this occasion. On to the right back spot then. Uh, I probably will get a lot of hate for this. But, I mean, a lot of people expect it. I really don't want to put this guy in because I don't think he's the best right back in the world personally. But if you look at the stats, I think he's, he's going to get it, to be honest. I, I think someone like Carver Howe, uh, you know, someone like that who's played really well recently. He's been very good. Other right backs in the Prem, Tariq Lamptey. I know he won't get a team of the year card, but he's been fantastic this year. I don't really want to give it to Trent, however. I think he does deserve it, if I'm going to be perfectly frank. So, uh, yeah, I would say Trent Alexander-Arnold definitely t taking that right back spot so far. Then at right centre mid... Uh, I know a lot of people think, oh, Penn Merchant, whatever. Bruno Fernandes is the best midfielder in the world right now. Bruno Fernandes is one of the best players in the world right now. He is absolutely class. And I don't care what anyone says. He is one of the best players in the world right now. No doubt about it. Look at his scoring record. I think he's scored more goals than Arsenal have the entire season. The entirety of Arsenal Football Club. And look at him. You can say he's a Penn Merchant, but not really. If you think about it, this guy is nuts. And I don't want to really hear all of this oh he's not that good or he's just a pen but no it's complete bollocks he is absolutely fantastic left center mid spot who are we thinking for this left center mid spot let's have a look through here obviously we do oh, i know i'm gonna pick already we do have a lot of options De Bruyne, obviously i think he probably will take up our cam spot though i think it's gonna have to be Kimmich. if i'm being perfectly honest i think the buying team this year has been too strong too good their own right and up front just to whack in another Bayern player it's going to be Robert Lewandowski because he is banging in the goals a world-class striker doesn't get enough recognition and is an absolutely top-class player so if you agree with me make sure to smash the like button but he is absolutely brilliant moving on to the attacking final three Lewandowski in there left wing right wing cam be done now Yo, before we finish off this squad order, guys, I just want to say the support on the channel has been great. Obviously, I haven't been uploading a lot recently. 
59 subs. I really appreciate. Oh, it's my Snapchat. 59 subs. I, re I really appreciate it, guys. Seriously, I really do. Uh, 102 views on my 50k starter team. I know that was two months ago, but I mean that was amazing. Uh, uh, even my Romarinho one has got like it's got like 160 views or something like that. So I'm super super grateful, guys, for all the support. And I'm gonna keep grinding. I know I haven't been uploading recently, and it, that is totally on me. However, I'm definitely gonna keep grinding. So if you want to see me go from here to the top, please smash that like button. Let's smash the subscribe button. Anyway, I love you all guys. Thank you all much for the support. Get back into the squad builder. Onto the cam spot then. Our central cam. My voice is going a little bit here. But we power through. Our central cam definitely could have been Bruno Fernandes. But it is going to be Kevin De Bruyne. The man who just... I think he's a genius, personally. I think he, he works hard. He looks a bit like me. <laughs> he's, he's a world-class player. And uh, yeah, I think he's just fantastic in every every respect uh i think he should definitely have a higher finishing on his card and i think 76 paces criminal as well however he is an absolute god in real life he is just carrying man city without him they look dry they look bland and uh, i really think he's one of the best cams we've had in the past kind of five years ten years in the premier league so there you go at wolfsburg he was dominating that's enough ranting about him now. Anyway, uh, he is a world-class player, and I think he should definitely receive a Team of the Year card. And the next card that I think should get a Team of the Year is someone that I don't necessarily rate incredibly highly. I think he's a very good player, but he could definitely improve. He had a great season a couple of seasons ago, but I think you might have seen it as I started recording. I think it is going to have to be Mo Salah. If you look at his goal scoring record this season, he scored 16 goals and got four assists. He's got 20 contributions. He's playing right wing, right? He's playing without. Uh, he's playing without. He's like the, the defense is less stable, so he's relied on more to get more goals, and he has played better. You, you simply can't deny that he has been better. So. 16 goals, 4 assists. Mohamed Salah gets whacked in the team. I know a lot of people will say Messi. I, I don't think Messi this year. To be honest, I don't think he'll get one. I mean, he, no, I do think he'll get one. I don't think he should get one. I think he'll get one nonetheless. But I, I, I just think Salah is too high quality right now. Now, the next spot is the most controversial pick I have ever done. Uh... For, for this sort of thing. It's not Neymar. It's not Mane. And you're going to be thinking. It's not Griezmann. It's not Hazard. It's not any of these guys. Not Sterling. Not, you know. Not, I was about to say not Overmars. He's an icon. You know. Not in No one like this. Alright. I don't know. What, what card is this Pulisic card? Storyline. Oh, he got one at the end of it. I didn't even see that. I haven't checked it yet. My bad. Anyway. Getting distracted. The player I've chosen. In my left wing. Slash, slash left mid spot. Is Marcus Rashford. <laughs> now, I am not a United fan. I want to be very clear. I'm not a United fan. However, this guy is an absolute baller. And I don't care about who's got more goals or whatever. He is carrying a United team. Who else is doing that? Who else is carrying a team that has relatively little attacking goal threat. Martial was inconsistent, Greenwood's inconsistent, Bruno Fernandes and Rashford are the only two players in that team at the moment. Maguire is having a rough season, De Gea has been better, but he's still not as good as he used to be. Marcus Rashford is scoring goals, I'll put up his goal scoring record right now, I'll put up his goal scoring record right now, and his assists, and the games he's playing, he's playing loads of games, he's doing it in Paris, right? He's clutching out games. They go 1-0 down against Sheffield United. They look like they've got nothing. Who comes up and scores two goals to get them back in it? It's Marcus Rashford. He does it. He is so good. His finishing is amazing. I love the guy. I, com I completely love him. He is brilliant. That is my left wing spot. My team of the year prediction. I think Rashford, if he did get a team of the year, which he won't, but if he did... He would probably be one of the lowest rated ones. And I'm happy to accept that because he's nowhere near on the level of Fernandez or... Well, he's, he's near the level of Fernandez, but he's not on the level of like someone like Lewandowski. But that is my team of the year prediction. 
let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I expect there will be some interesting discussions there. I will put up Rashford's goal scoring record, or you've probably already seen it now. So you can see my, you know, method behind the madness, if you will. I'm going to whack on some players on the bench now, uh, who I think would be uh, suitable bench players for Team of the Year. I think James Sancho's had a very good year. Definitely. I think uh, Erling Haaland as well. Haaland. Is it Haaland or Haaland? Let me know down in the comment section as well. Because I feel like I'm saying it wrong. But then I hear commentators say it as Haaland. And I'm like, it's Haaland, right? So let me know. Let me know. I'm getting a bit sidetracked. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I will definitely get a lot of hate. But I want to hear you guys' thoughts. I want to hear everyone's thoughts on my prediction. Uh, and that is going to be it for today's video. I'm going to stop talking now. You can see my bed picks or you can click off. I love you all and peace.